Erechidia is a must-see city. Due to its geographical position, its historical past, its diversity of human, cultural, and natural elements, these assets make it a first-class relaxing experience to tourists. It was formerly the historic crossroads between the imperial cities and the far south of Black Africa. Located in the south of the kingdom, the city of Erechidia is bounded by the provinces of Figwig to the east, Bini Melville and Azalul to the west Kenefra and Balmain to the north and the Moroccan-Algerian border to the south. Located on the border of southeastern Morocco, it is home to Tafalalit, considered one of the historic regions of Morocco. It is one of the largest cities in the area, after Boundjer and Smara, with a population of 90,000. Known for its culture, the city of Erechidia harks back to the architectural and urban heritage of the past. This heritage consists of historical monuments, such as the vestiges of Sigil Massa and the Mausoleum Mule Ali Cherif, as well as the Kesars, Kesar El Fida, Kesar Uld Abdelhalim, Kesar Abwayam, Madid, Kesar Meski. For lovers of desert and oasis tourism, the city of Erechidia is en route to the sand dunes near the picturesque village of Merzaga, the Tifanassin site the upper valley of Garis, the palm grove of Galmama, the palm grove of Ziz, that of Jorf and Turong, and the blue springs of Meski. This city is also near summits reaching more than 3,200 m, at Emilchil and a variety of caves, the Achium Caves of Emilchil, the Tidaoyuan Caves at Zayuya de City Hamza, the Ifrin City El Heyuari Caves, the Ifrin Wadu Caves, the Blasma Caves, the Ifri and Takaline Melob Caves, and its southern part is a paradise for international producers who find locations there that allow directors to mount productions that remain indelibly in the memories of film goers. Tafalalt also spelled Tafalit or Tafalalit, largest Saharan oasis of Morocco in the southeastern part of the country. The oasis comprises the fortified villages of Urfoud, Arab Sabaduziz, Rizani, Cephalat, Ayufis, and Shorf, together with palm groves stretching 30 miles along the river of Ziz. Although previous settlements existed, especially during the Roman period, the first continuously inhabited town in the area after the spread of Islam was Sigil Massa, founded by the amazing Magnassa tribal leader Mausa ben Nasser in 757 CE. It was on the direct caravan route from the Niger River to Tangier and attained a considerable degree of prosperity. 5 6. In the 17th century, the Alayuite dynasty of Morocco first achieved political ascendancy in Tafalalt and in 1606 the Sultan Zidin al Nasir hid in Tafalalt, where he made a profit off of gold mined in the area, built an army, eventually taking control of the city of Marrakech.
A few years later, in 1610, Achmed ibn Abi Mehali also built up an army in the Taflal area and took Marrakech back for himself, but lost control after city Yahya ben Yams liberated the city for al Nasir. A decade after this, a revolutionary movement arose in Tafalalt against the ruling sultan, but was repressed after four months of skirmishes. Later, Tafalalt was a major center of the Dilites. In 1648, a custom was established by Moorish sultans of Morocco sending superfluous sons or daughters who would not inherit titles or power to Tafalalt. Medieval traveler Ibn Badadar wrote about visiting Sigil Masa near Tafalalt in the 14th century on his journey from Fez to Mali, the country of the blacks. It was later destroyed in 1818 by the Ada Taf, but its ruins remain, including two gateways. The first European to visit Tafalalt in the modern era was Rene Cayley, 1828 and later Gerhard Rolfs, 1806-4. English writer W.B. Harris described it in a journal after his visit. On the edge of the Great Moroccan South, the Tafalalit Valley is crossed by the Ziz and the Garis, two alids that are usually dry, but whose underground waters fertilize the entire region's gardens and crops. The junction of these rivers is marked above ground by a vast plain of superb acacias. Between valley, desert, and high mountains, very beautiful hikes await. At the gates of the Sahara, Tafalalit and Rizani are the cradle of the Alayuate dynasty. Rizani, an old Trans-Saharan crossroads, is located between Urfoud and Mirzaka. This is where you'll find the ruins of Sijilmasa, the legendary gold and ivory trading post on the road to Timbuktu. When traveling in the region of Tafalalit, stop at Rizani and soak in the lively colors of its sauk. Stroll a moment along its alleyways shaded by reeds before taking off to discover the ruins of Sigil Massa. In the middle of a flourishing oasis, this city of fabulous riches knew great wealth from the 8th to 13th centuries. Two kilometers south of Rizani, stop to see the mausoleum of Mule Ali Cherif. 
This masterpiece of Islamic art owes much of its beauty to the ebony artisans of Fes and Meknes. A few footsteps away, you can visit the Kesar Akbar and the Kesar Ulad Abdelhalam, two more architectural marvels. Take a day trip in the heart of the Tafalalit Palm Grove and get up close and personal with the valley's many Kesars. Asurhain, Zayyuit El Mahdi, Tabasamt, Uertain, Tinrinas, don't hesitate to venture down the alleyways of these fortified villages. From the top of their ramparts, the panoramas over the palm groves are breathtaking. In the heart of the Taflalid Valley, Rizani is 20 kilometers south of Urfoud and 50 kilometers north of Mirzaga and the Chebiurg. Get there by public transportation or rental car. No matter how you get here, as long as you don't miss out on this exceptional region between the Atlas and the Moroccan desert.